Hello. So welcome to Flash. What we're going to do is we're going to do a stop motion video today, um, learning how to use Flash in stop motion. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to our um, layer and we're just going to press F7 or click on our layer and press F7 a few times. What this does is it creates pictures or like blank sheets of paper and we can use those blank sheets of paper. So I've got 50 sheets of paper there which I can then draw on. Um, so let's go back to our first sheet of paper and I'm just going to start drawing a stick figure here. So we've got a, a stick figure and um, He's, he's going to have uh, uh, a few little things here that's a bit weird. We'll just uh, give him uh, some proper arms, uh, give him uh, some legs, and some little feet. Okay, so we've got our stick figure here. And the next thing we want to do is we want to go to our next sheet of paper. So we, we click on our next sheet of paper up here and obvious, obviously it disappears. What we'd like to be able to do is we'd like to be able to see this stick figure compared to what we're going to next. But let's, um, let's look at uh, say sheet, uh, sheet number 25 and eventually I want my stick figure to jump up. So um, he's going to be, at this point, he's going to be up here. He's going to have his, uh, his body kind of uh, like this. Um, and of course, he's got legs. So we'll have, you know, maybe a, 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 a second leg and a second arm. So that's where he's going to be by the time he gets up to uh, number 25 and he's going to do a full flip and land um, and do a karate move. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go back to, say, uh, number 12, and we, we want him to be somewhere in this vicinity here, but the problem is we can't see where he's going to be. So what we'll do is we'll go back to sheet one, and um, what we're going to do is we're just going to click on this layer here, which is called onion skin. And so if we just drag this thing over here, what we can see is we can see where he will end up in that time. So he's obviously gotten a little bit smaller there, um, so he's really leaped up, and um, we'll see what we can do. All right, so now if I select on, say, um, I don't know, halfway between. So, so we're going to go to, say, 12, sheet 12. As you can see, the, the, the um, figure disappears. We'll just bring him back in. Um, so at 12, we're going to have him somewhere in this vicinity here. So let's, uh, let's just draw him there. There's his um, arm. So see how this one is a little bit um, bigger than this, but not as big as that. Um, we we want him to, um, his, his body's probably going to be a little bit curved. I don't know, he looks like, looks like a, an extreme, uh, um, almost like a, um, almost like a, a, an alien, almost like a lizard at this point. Um, but as you can see, we've got our, our first layer down here and we've got our second layer um, in the middle here, and we've got our final layer up here. Um, so why don't we uh, add some movement? Uh, uh, to him at this point, just because we can. And that looks terrible. So we'll undo that. Press Control Z and it undoes it. He looks a little bit lizard-like there, doesn't he? So I'm just going to undo a few of those things because I'm not happy with that. So, um, and this is the beauty of it. We can just keep um, adjusting. Um, so we'll make his, um, whoops, get rid of that last one. Um, we'll make his, his uh, body kind of um, like that and um, 
So he's looping up. And that's our position. That's okay. All right. So now we probably want something in between times. So we will go back to, say, number four. And what I can do is I can just get rid of this, um, this uh, movement here. We just, by going up here and um, pulling that back so it disappears, so we can just see the two positions that he's going to. Um, in number, um, say number, th sheet number two, the three there, we probably want him actually bobbing down a little bit. So we want him, um, Going down, we we'll give him a body, um, we we'll give him arms, and we'll spread his legs, and we'll kind of. So he's. Uh, we we'll probably need to pull those legs down, uh, those hips down a little bit. So we'll just pull that. We'll just make this a little bit longer. So his hips are down further. So he's gone a little bit um, lower. So if I just scroll back through it, I'm using my um, the, uh, the comma and the dot key. So the first one, he starts in that position, then he moves to that position. See what I mean? But what we'll do is we'll just get rid of it, the onion skin for a second, just to show you. Bang, bang. See how he's going down. Okay, so we'll come back to our onion skin again. And we'll go to um, the, the um, layer here, number five. And we'll just pull it so that we don't see as much of that onion skin as, as all of that. And we'll just expand it a little bit more. So he's going down and he's going up. We, we probably want him to go back up a little bit more at this point. So we want him to go there. We want him to go there. We want his legs to be much more, um, much straighter. Um, and his arms, in this case, is slightly higher than the original one here. And uh, more directly down. So if we go back here, look for the black. So there's the first frame, there's the second frame going down, fifth frame going up. And so what we can do in between those is we can fill those frames out. So there's the first frame, here's the second frame. So we're just going to go between. It's really much better to only have two two frames um, being shown in the onion skin. So at the moment, um, we've got the two frames that we can see. We've got the first one, which is that one where he's a little bit higher. Then he squats down. So we want it to be somewhere in between those two. So I'm on that middle frame now, and we'll just put his head there. Um, so he's preparing to, to go down. Um, and his body's still kind of in that position. Uh, and his arms will we'll bring his, his shoulders down, his arms still there. So let's have a look at that. See how he's going down now? And the next one He's going back into that position. So he's going between those, this position and that position. So ever so slightly up. So let's make it a bit smoother. So put our head in here. And have a look at our first position there. Just scrolling backwards and forwards. It just is, is very helpful to have a look at that. So we'll put his body in between. And it's 
legs in between. And let's compare that. Going back from the start. Boom, 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 boom. And then he'll go up. Eventually he'll be up here. So let's go, uh, let's spread our onion skin so it's a little bit further round. Now we can see the, the two. And we're going to draw something in between here. Now, we want it to accelerate, so we want it to, to um, go up here and uh, we'll get his body so it's kind of in the same kind of angle and uh, longer uh, legs at that point and his arms will go basically down at this point in time. So let's have a look at this. Going up. And so we're sort of in between here. So this one needs to be about halfway between these last two. So let's have a look at the last two. So just move the young in layer. So we've got those two. So now we can only see two layers on the young in layer. And we just put him smack bang between. Um, and uh, his arms. Now let's have a look back here. And so as you can see, we're beginning to stop motion him so that he can actually get into position. I'm just going to fill these frames in. I'm gonna, um, so you'll see what it looks like very quickly. So as we can see, um, if we see this, I've, I've just created a, a cartoon. And it's, it's not a very good cartoon, it's a very quick one. Um, but as you can see, we can create stop motion um, that actually does different things.